Yo, it's like a lightsaber. What's good YouTube fam? It's your boy Will back in the building with another video. If you are new here and you are liking my content, please make sure you go ahead down there, hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the bell so you get notified every time I post new videos, you come back and you can hang out with all of us. Today we're gonna be taking a look at one of the most infamous uh, smart lighting companies, which is gonna be Philips Hue. In particular, we're gonna be taking a look at the Philips Hue Play Bar today. Now, um, I actually already own about two of these that I have installed on the back of my entertainment system in my living room. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to connect to it. We're gonna talk a little bit about the Hue ecosystem, and we're gonna also be looking at the Hue Sync app in order to sync this with your uh, monitor or gaming needs and music. And lastly, I'm going to give you my final opinions on the Philips Hue Play Bars. So if you are ready, sit back, grab you some water, coffee, popcorn, or whatever you're into, and enjoy. Today is a good day because today we are talking tech. Let's get it. Inside of this box, what you get is your paperwork instructions, you know, like the normal stuff. You also get your light bar, which is gonna come in at about 10 inches in length. The bottom has a nice rubberized grip. You also get two screw holes for the mounting pieces. You get a power supply. Each power supply can power up to three Hue play bars. The cable on this play bar is about two meters in length. The accessories that you get inside of this clip is gonna be these two plastic mounting options that you can use by just screwing on the back of the Philips Hue play bar. You got the one where you can kind of stand it up like so. And then you got the flat one, which is mainly for mounting it on the back of a monitor or a television. They also include a 3M sticky for mounting on the back of a monitor or a television. And then they give you a screw and also the Allen key to adjust the screw for the uh, mounting option that you decide to choose. If you are brand new to Philips Hue and you decide to get these play bars, I would suggest you go with the play bar starter kit. This is gonna run you about $150, but it will give you that uh, Hue bridge that you will need to actually make this all work. This Philips Hue play bar, you know, um, they're pretty much like all of the other LED products, which is gonna give you a 16 million color option. You also get your whites. This will come in at 530 lumens per Philips Hue play bar which is pretty bright, all right? To connect this is very simple. Number one, you would obviously have to have already connected your Philips Hue hub. Just for giggles, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to connect this. On your Philips Hue app, you're gonna download it from either your Google Play Store or your Apple, uh, Apple App Store, that's what they call it, right? Yeah, the Apple App Store. So anyways, getting back to what I was saying, you're gonna click this three dot thing right here in the corner. You're gonna go to light setup. You click on the light setup button and you hit add light, very simple, and you hit search. Now, when you first plug this in, man, I've already set this up, but when you first plug it in, it literally works like instantly. So basically, once you set this up inside of your app, then you have to do this additional step, which makes no sense to me, but you have to actually add it to a room. So what I do is click uh, rooms and zones, and then um, you click on your room. So in my case, it's the studio. And then you just click the monitor play to make sure that the Philips Hue app knows that you want this inside of that particular room. I don't know why is it a double step. You should be able to just connect this with a room and everything during a setup process. But that's a whole nother story. You get this color wheel and you know, you can go ham at it and put your desired color in. So you got your brightness right here. I'm gonna put it on about 50%. And um, yeah, you can go ham and get your color on, man. You can go ahead and 
get your lightsaber color on which is pretty cool and if you notice it really does it pretty much instantly so like soon as i move it it's like boom you want red oh you want pink oh boom 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 and you can go ahead right here and click your white color wheel so if you really want to kind of like get up in there for your white colors and this is like the warmer white cooler white warmer white yeah you can set this up with your alexa devices your google home devices and it works with zigbee and a whole bunch of other people links will be down in the description if you really want to go in depth but um yeah home kit works as well and there's like a whole bunch of other stuff with this now to set this up with alexa it is very simple all you would need to do is go into your app on your amazon you would set up the skill the skill is literally like right there so you know it works very well integrated with the a word the a word meaning for the most part the app is pretty cool it's pretty decent you could also use this with your apple watch as well you create widgets and that pretty much will set a preset and then you can open up on your watch and do it they also give you little custom scenes right here so as you see you got your savannah sunrise you got tropical twilight arctic aurora and pretty much by clicking it it will change it automatically also what's really cool with this is you can add your own scenes right here and what's dope about the philips hue app that i like is you can actually do this based off of a photo so right here they give you plenty of photos right here to choose from you can also add your own photo as well by clicking this camera roll and let's say i just wanted to click this so now it's using this little nice picture that i downloaded off of the internet and it's determining the colors now let's talk about the hue sync what hue sync basically is is a app for your computer that you do have to use with the app on the phone it basically will change the color of all of your lights with whatever is played on a computer so let's say for instance in my living room you see i have the two Philips Hue on the back of the TV we have the light strip which is under and then we have two bulbs that sit on either side of the couch once you create your entertainment area you then have to go to the computer app you have your game mode your music mode and then also video if I wanted to do a video for instance I would click video and you can actually adjust the brightness of how you want your lights to be affected and then they have four different adjustments so showing you this inside of my living room as you see right here what I ended up doing was using my laptop and airplane it to my television as you see right here the colors will change depending on the image that's on TV now I will say that it does do it slightly a little slow it doesn't it's not perfect but I mean it works it works so right here what I did was turn the music on I'm just playing some music right here and you see it's kind of like beating to the music so inside of the music option you can make your own color palettes and then they also give you uh five different ones to choose from um i have all five bulbs in my living room set up in this scenario in order for this to actually work i mean for the most part i think it works pretty good what do i think about this you know honestly philips U is definitely one of the only companies that you can do the only companies that i know of that you can do this effect where the lighting can be controlled by what's on television so that is pretty awesome philips hue makes plenty of accessories they have so many different lighting and it's a huge company i don't think that they're going anywhere the setup process for this is very very simple as you've seen in this video and it is very easy to use so my cons here are going to be that um you have to have a hub but uh you know in the same spectrum i have other lights that do not require hubs and i must say that philips hue is much more reliable if you lose wi-fi you can still control your lighting as well let's get the elephant out of the room philips hue is very expensive even to like get started the first philips hue product that i purchased was the philips hue light bulbs i think i paid around 180 dollars for three bulbs and the 
hub and the hub came and it also came with a dimmer as well i thought that was pretty expensive just to get into it you actually set the entertainment area up on your phone to use it on your computer which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. You should be able to do it right from the computer as well, especially because that's the only way that this actually works, but they want you to set it up on your phone. Oh, my last con is gonna be, for some reason, I record my videos in 24 frames per second, and one thing I don't like about the Hue lights is I always get a buzz when I'm filming. Now, I'm not sure, nobody never really talks about this, but what my assumption is, is if you film in 30 frames per second, you don't get this little buzzy look. I don't like that. Like, I mean, come on, for this expensive lighting, it should be no buzz. Like, I'm confused at why that is. Let me know if you guys experienced this when you're filming, if it comes out, you know, looking all buzzy. So they recently came out with the HDMI sync box. And would you believe they want they want to charge you $229 for basically a HDMI switcher which will be able to connect with your Philips Hue products so you can do the entertainment area without using a computer. Now I just think that that is they they taxing on that. But like I said earlier, you can easily use your computer and airplay if you have a smart tv that's pretty much uh my little review on the philips hue play bars uh, let me know down in the comment section are you guys interested in this hue products do you have any trust me if you buy one you know you you go overboard and next thing you know you got a house full of led smart lights <laughs> but let me know your guys experience I would love to chat with you guys down in the comment section. I'll reply back to all of my peoples who uh, holla at me in the comment section. So holla at your boy. I will also leave links for uh, these devices down in the description box. With all that being said, guys, I hope that this video was helpful. I hope you guys got some value out of it. Hope it was a little entertaining. If it was, please don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will catch you guys next week in my next video deuces i'm holla at y'all next time all right peace out y'all